right, let's see if we can get this to work today. Internet's not been that sharp this morning. Good morning, America. Welcome to Decision 2020. We're going to put out a real quick one here this morning. We just got done uh, doing our coffee with Jesus, praying for our president, praying for the kids. I quit praying for the people in Congress, the Dems and the liberals, because between me and you, more time I have coffee with Jesus in the morning, I think the more he's trying to tell me these guys have done so much for so long, they've already been turned over to a reprobate mind. So now I'm praying for the kids. The I think they call them uh, millennials. The ones that are like college age right now, all the way down to like third, fourth, fifth grade, where they're bringing in these transsexuals or transgenders or transvestites, or I don't even know what you call them. They're just crazy men that dress up as women in women's lingerie. And these are the same people that are saying they wish our president would think straight. Okay. So when I first started this thing out, I'll tell you, this is this just going to be a quick information thing, a little bit about me and, and what this thing's all about. I started out on Facebook about six weeks ago, and I went live. My first live, uh, I had 17 views. And about, I don't know, a month, three weeks ago, I've been sick for a week, so I haven't been on that much. Normally, I'm daily or once or twice a day with short ones, depending on what's going on in the media and the news. And I watch all of them. You know, uh, I got to know what's going on MSNBC and CBS and NBC and MSNBC. And then I can't take much more than about two or three minutes of the Clinton News Network. You know, CNN, Clinton News Network. Yeah, I'm pretty much sure they own that one. I think they were the first ones to dismiss Epstein. And the, mon the Monday after they killed him, I... They had a podcast. I don't know if they took that down or not. A lot of my posts get taken down. I had uh, a clip where Pelosi was coaching her four henchmen who has hung the Democratic Party out to dry, being racist, anti-Semitic, anti-American, and uh, the Talib from here in Dearborn, the tramp that has the audacity to cuss our president out are you kidding me um I, i'm old school you know i come back in the days like that red-headed comedian that come out with a severed head of donald trump and snoop dogg with his little video and the assassination of trump and there was a democratic congressman that put on a party and staged an assassination of trump i really do wish they would have tried that with reagan because between me and you if they did they'd still be in prison I'm like, some of you haven't heard all my confessions. I'm going to make a quick one here for you. Never was a Trump follower. Heard fake news about him. Didn't like the guy. Had bad information. But the, the, the guy I liked and the guy that I was going to campaign for 24-7 dropped out. And it really ticked me off. It took me a while to figure it out. Why did, why did the best candidate for president drop out? I think, well, A, obviously God wanted him to, but B, I figured out that at these debates, whenever you attack someone, they got a chance for a rebuttal. Now, the smartest man that was running for president in 2016, his name was never mentioned because every single one of them knew when it came into a battle of wits, he was going to, it wouldn't have been a, nobody there could handle him. They were afraid of him. When they would ask him a question, he would get to speak once or twice per debate, period. When they'd ask him a question the first time, I'll never forget it. He says, boy, I'm glad you didn't forget I was here. I thought I was just here for my good looks. I mean, you know, but the book I like a lot and the things I learned from Coffee with Jesus is a wise man will seek wise counsel. I don't believe there's a meter on earth that can tell you how much smarter Ben Carson is than I am. We're not talking rocket science here, folks. We're talking an actual brain surgeon, okay? And when he says, vote for Trump, he's got my vote. But now, since he's been in, with all he's done for America, because I'm not going to separate the stuff he's done for the Latinos or for the women or for Afro-Americans, which I normally do not say that. And I do want to put this out. 
Brother Ben Carson is not politically correct. He says that's not proper and we don't need to be. So when I refer to people that are different from myself on my podcast, telling you now, I don't want to offend anybody, but my mother brought me up to believe that whether you were purple or yellow or brown or red or black, that you were a child of God. And that they are, had just as much right to anything that you wanted or, or to this earth or to the air or to the space or to the courtesy and to the respect that you'd give anyone because we're all children of God. Now, unfortunately, my dad was a bit like Trump and, and Trump didn't accept Christ until just about a year and a half ago. Okay, so he was late in life is what I'm saying. And most of my dad's life, my dad was like Archie Bunker. So I can't, I can't say what he used to say. Before he accepted Christ, he was just like all the rest of us, a filthy, rotten sinner. He's just like I am when I'm not walking in the spirit. When I'm walking in the flesh, when I let these idiot Republic or Democrats and liberals get under my skin and I start acting like them with hate and vile, yeah. So anyways, long story short, my dad did finally accept Christ. He got rid of his prejudice. My mother never was prejudiced. But when I refer to blacks, they're blacks. Because I'm not a Irish-German-American. That's my heritage. That's not, how I, I, that's not how I identify. So just so everybody knows, if I don't call you an Afro-American, it's not out of disrespect whatsoever. I've, I've, I've got a brother in Christ that I love more than my brother that I got from my mom and dad. And God is my witness. He knows that. I haven't talked to my, my real brother in, uh, I think it's been about 15 years. And I get nervous when I don't talk with my brother Anthony in 15 days. So I got to check in and I pray for him. And I quit praying for my little brother years ago because I know he's been turned over to a reprobate mind. Long story short, There'll be whites or blacks. No disrespect to either one. Uh, those of you who know me know I love Ben Carson. Uh, I'm hoping for like a, a Owens Trump ticket in 2024. I'm starting to put that out. Uh, I do want to give a shout out to a great website. A great value of uh, information and knowledge that I get uh, from the police department angle of things. And I love the guy. I was on uh, his live chat last night. He's Officer Tatum, Brandon Tatum. And uh, he is a black brother in Christ uh, down in, I think he's in Arizona. But when they had that shooting in Texas, I was the first one to say, this is a racial deal. This was not right. I'm glad they fired the guy. I'm glad they arrested the guy. I hope he goes to jail. I hope they improved their training. I hope they improved their screening. Because that city's had like 9 or 10 killings this year. Police incidents. There's something bad wrong going on there. We need to fix that, okay? Other thing I wanted to mention is I saw one of my, uh, somebody posted, uh, I think it was yesterday. We had 150,000 deer hunters out in the woods this last weekend and not one mass shooting. Maybe with 150,000 people running around with loaded guns and nobody got shot, Gun owners aren't all bad. Maybe they just enjoy hunting and bringing home some natural, unchemicaled source of meat. I know Ted Nugent likes to hunt. He's often said the only fast food he's ever at, ate in his life was a mallard. You know, those green wings or teal. Anyways, canvasbacks are slow. That's the only duck I've ever been able to get. And between me and you, I believe the one I got was mentally, I thought it was a Canadian goose, because I'm a goose hunter. I didn't like duck hunting. I've been duck hunting three times, and the score is the ducks zero, and or three, and Kevin zero. Never got a one. Just not that good of a shot. I'm honest, too. Listen, you folks have a blessed day. I just wanted to clear this thing up with me not identifying as Irish, German, American, or Afro-American black. Black Afro-American, however they say it. He's my black brother. And if you say something about him or his family, I'll knock you stupid, just like you attacked one of my own, because he is. <laughs> but anyways, that's that Democrat in me coming out. See, and folks that have heard all mine know that I've even voted Democrat. Because I'm basically, I'm a patriot, you know? 
And we've had Democrats that didn't like killing babies that wouldn't allow abortion. And they got my vote. I think Kennedy would be rolling over in his grave right now. There was a time when the Democrats, uh, when, when the Democrats were actually good and honorable and trustworthy. And when there was a disagreement about something, people would even refer to it as, let's take a vote and do this in a democratic fashion because that was a good thing. Today, they're the most vile bunch of lying, scum-sucking dirt bags I have seen. Schiff just gets deeper and deeper and deeper. And they're calling him to testify. He wasn't thinking about that. He blew it with the whistleblower when he handed in his report and forgot I seen it. He's got a bunch of stuff black line that he redacted. He redacted everything but the name of the whistleblower. There's an outfit that just did a, a visitation report from the White House, the Obama administration. Folks, put on your seatbelts because this is about to get real crazy. As a matter of fact, they had, I've got the note down here somewhere so I didn't forget it. Now I can't find it. That kills me. Some kid ran out of beer at an Iowa football game here about three months ago, held up a sign, need beer money. And he got a million dollar donation. I've been asking folks if they got a laptop with a uh, camera on it collecting dust that they could uh, donate. Um, that's all I'm looking for. Anyways, I forget the name of it. It was something ironic, you know, like how the Democrats lie when they put together that art outfit, Plan Killing Parenthood. But they call it Planned Parenthood. Now, if you're killing a baby, how can you be a parent? That's an oxymoron. That's like you've got Adam Schiff leading the Intelligence Committee. There's no intelligence there, okay? This was a, just a, a justice thing. Long story short is, second whistleblower, he had, who was with the CIA, had five meetings with one of the head executives for George Soros. So George Soros was behind the Obama administration so much. It's all coming out now. That's why Barr's investigation went to a criminal investigation, and it's going to get real. And I thank God for President Trump, because if he hadn't been elected, we would have never known just how dirty and dishonest these Democrats have gotten. Thank you, Jesus, for President Trump. Thank you, Jesus, for all the Americans that voted for him. And I don't care if you're black, white, yellow, brown. Thank you, and a special blessing to you. We got to stand behind our president. We get him in there one more time. We will get Roe versus Wade overturned, and we'll get same-sex marriage overturned with our next Supreme Court appointed. I love you guys. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Again, uh, ahead of time, please don't be offended. That's just the way I was raised. And uh, you guys have a blessed day. Please, please, please don't forget to pray, pray for our president. And also... The millennials, the kids that have been uh, brainwashed by the liberals since they were in second, third grade. What they're doing to our kids in school today is just, it's unbelievable. Makes a good argument for homeschooling. God bless you. God bless America. God bless our president and everyone that voted for him. Amen. I'm out of here.